two unboxing videos in a row. Let's I got another thing that I was trying to find forever. <laughs> Let's open the bag and see what's inside. And we have <clears throat> Kingdom Tigatron. I have been looking for this guy forever now. I was convinced that this guy just wouldn't come out, uh, but it did, and I finally got my hands on him. So let's open him up. There we are, Kingdom Tigatron. The card this time is Megatron. I already have Megatron, but at least it's not another Optimus Prime or uh, Ark. Let's see. Uh... Oh, new sticker, great. You can see Starscream over there, Soundwave. That's great. Is that Brunt in the back there? But we're not interested in the card. We are interested in Tigatron. You bastard. Uh, we go Kingdom Tigatron out of the packaging. So this is just an upscaled retool of um, Cheetor, which wasn't a bad figure, but I feel like this is going to be better just from tighter joints and uh, the larger size. Also noticing some very nice glossy plastic, some nice shiny paint. So let's get his uh, accessories out. Oh. If I can get him to stand. Stand, please. please. There we go. Uh, accessories. So here's his gun. I don't know what this is. Is it like a brain or something? I don't, I don't understand Beast Wars weapon design, but he looks good with that. Uh, but then we get to this. I already thought Cheetor's tail weapon was bad. How is this somehow worse? <laughs> Like, there's not even a blade on it this time. This is literally just a tail. And I don't even think there's any form of weapon storage unless... Um, uh, I mean, that kind of works. Let's get him transformed. And it should be the same as Cheetor's transformation, so lift all this up. Head folds. 
back, even though that wasn't on Cheeto. Oh no, the head. Wait, how does... I think I am actually going to need the instructions for this. <laughs> so this isn't the same transformation. There has been some changes to it. Oh, shit. <laughs> there has been some changes to it, but we are going to see uh, step, step one. Okay. okay, so I'm going to put everything back to how it was in robot mode. Okay, uh, so that those go like that, and then and then the arms go back down, and then fold in like so, and then fold. Come on, you actual. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I'm noticing that these arm parts are very annoying. <laughs> But they do go when... Oh wait, but this is supposed to be... Ugh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so got the arms done. So that's not the same as Cheetos. And then the head comes up. And then the tiger head folds down. His head comes down and then the tiger head goes back up. That's not the same as Cheetos. Okay, then it goes up. I don't think it plugs in, never mind. Tiger legs go down. And then everything clips together, hopefully. Yeah, that, that works. So we have the front end of a tiger. Now let's do the back end. This should be the same as Cheetos. I know how this works. And we have a tiger. So not a fan of how the arms work, but it is still a, like, doable transformation. Like, you can complete it if you want to. Let me just bring the camera down so we can have a closer look at this tiger. I think I think that looks pretty good. I I could do without the tail just like obviously he needs the tail, but I wish it was actually attached to him at all times and not a crappy tail weapon. What is it with Hasbro and terrible tail weapons? So that's oh that's Kingdom Tigatron. Uh Okay, I, I could do without this. It's not a weapon, it's just parts forming. Uh, also, I kind of wish there was a place for the, um, the gun to store in uh, uh, both robot mode and uh, 
uh, beast mode. But um, there are also a few things with the transformation that I could do without. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it. That's it for me. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, join my Discord server, and subscribe to The Great Soundwave. I'll see you next time.